Hello and welcome to TechBot 360 EX. This is the fifth video in the External Flow series. In this video, we will be using the Onera M6 Wing and CFD Analyzer to calculate variables which don't exist in the incoming dataset. In this case, we will be looking to calculate velocity from momentum. The CFD Analyzer allows the conversion between the velocity and momentum. For this direct conversion, we must supply the fluid properties of the air and the field variables already present in the dataset. In this video, we will include additional properties not strictly required for this calculation. However, they will be required for other uses of the CFD analyzer capabilities. These additional properties include the reference values as they approach infinity and overall case properties. The dataset we will use for this video is of the Onera M6 wing, which can be found in the examples folder of the TechBlot 360 EX installation or on our website. Our first step will be determining the reference values at the inlet. If these are not already known, one method for accomplishing this is to probe at the far field of our fluid volume to find the necessary variable values. In the Surfaces tab of the Zone Style dialog, select Exposed Cell Faces under Surfaces to Plot for the fluid volume. Then select the Probe tool and probe near the inflow. From here, we can see the reference values for Mach, Density, and Temperature. We can now enter the appropriate reference values from the Analyze menu, including the Angle of Attack at zero. Next, select Fluid Properties from the Analyze menu and ensure that the toggle for Incompressible Flow is toggled off. Enter 287 for the gas constant. Keep 1.4 for gamma and toggle on Use Field Variable for Viscosity to choose Eddy Viscosity from the dataset. Leave the default value of conductivity at 1. Finally, open the Field Variables dialog. Use the assigned momentum vectors with UVW as the convective variables. Select Density and Stagnation Energy as the state variables and assign Density and Energy respectively from the variables in the dataset. To save all these settings, select Analyze Save Settings. At any point, the saved file can be loaded back in and all of the settings we just set up will be restored. Now, we can finally open the Calculate Variables dialog and select Velocity Vector. Keep all the defaults and select Calculate to generate the Velocity Vector variables. Having Calculate On Demand toggled on will defer loading of the new variable until it is needed in the plot. To visualize these new variables, we will toggle off the surfaces for the fluid volume and select Plot Vector Variables to reassign the vector variables. Then, by placing a slice and drawing a rake of stream traces, we can inspect the quality of the calculated velocity. This concludes the tutorial on variable calculation. You can download a free trial of TechBlot360EX from our website, and thank you for watching.